Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install a Feli Draw on Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS, the third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Lab, turn install on things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, I got a neat suggestion by a Big Bear community member on community.bigbeartechworld.com uh, to uh, add Excaladraw to Big Bear Class OS, and I thought it was a neat idea, so I did it. Um, it's a real-time cl collaboration and into an encryption uh, virtual whiteboard. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go into GitHub now. So it's a virtual whiteboard for sketching hand-drawn like di uh, diagrams. Uh, so, so this is what it looks like. Again, this is the features. So that's what will be installed today on Casa OS. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And uh, this is a third party app store for Cost OS. It's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it's got quite, quite a bit of apps nowadays. Um, I did make a video on how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS, but, but I'm going to be going over in this video as well. Um, the custom app stores are only supported on Cost OS version 0.4.4 or newer. So I'm going to scroll up. To your app store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go over to my Cost OS and get this set up installed. So now I'm going to go, go into my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store and then I'm going to go to More Apps over here. I'm going to click it. Text input pops out. I'm going to paste in the URL that we copied over in Big Bear Cost OS, the App Store URL. Now I'm going to press Add. Now the App Store is added and you see it's 169 apps now. So if you go over here uh, and you re refresh the page, go back in the app store, go, go to categories. Not, now you see Big Bear Cost OS. I'm going to click it. So now you can see all the uh, apps that are in Big Bear Cost OS that you can install. So now I'm going to start on my Big Bear Cost OS. I'm going to go to search and type draw in. Now it's going to go to the Excel draw and then a Docker compose. So. The Cosway's app name is called Big Bear Excelly Draw. And then um, I'm going to set services. And the first service underneath the services is called App. The container name is going to be called a Big Bear Excelly Draw. And then uh, image is coming off of Docker by default. And then it's using the latest tag. I don't really like to use the latest tags, but uh, of this one, it looks like it only has the latest tag right now. So a restart unless stops. Uh, so that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then we'll try to restart. And then I'm going to uh, set ports. So 8,000 on the host and 80 on the container. If this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it. But, but do not change the container port. And then I'm going to set some X cost OS information to explain the ports. And then I'm going to come down here and set some X cost information to explain the app store, the app on the app store. So, so the architectures are AMD64, and that's what this Docker image supports. And then uh, a main is set to app up here of the service. And then a description, the tagline, the, the developer, and then the author of the Docker Impose, the icon, the thumbnail, the title, the category so we can easily find all the Big Bear Cost OS apps. And then the port map is set to 8,000. That rhymes with the host port up here of 8,000. So that's a little bit about the Docker Impose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to start on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then I'm going to search for Draw. 
Now it comes with uh, up with Excelly Draw. And then I'm going to go into it, install. Now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker uh, images off the registry, getting them extracted, and getting them up with Docker Compose underneath because this does use the Docker engine. Um, so I'm going to continue in background. It's saying installation is completed. I'm going to refresh the page. Now we got it up and running. So now I'm going to start on my Cos OS. I'm going to go up here to the vertical dots. So you can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. This is kind of like a notepad. And then you can go down here to edit button. And you can type anything in it. And then press the save button. It reloads the container in the background. And says Excel Draw is okay. So um, you can go into settings. And you can change some of these settings. Uh, you can also go into the terminal logs. And go into the container. You can also go in the logs over here, um, and, and this is great for debugging. You can export the Docker and pose over here. You can exit out of there. Um, you can check for updates. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So I'm going to go in the UI. So um, you can open it from here, or you can go open it from here. So um, now you have options up here. So open, save to, export image, a lot live collaboration, help, and you can completely reset the canvas as well. Um, you can go to dark mode and light mode. You can change the la language. You can change the canvas background um, and a custom background too. Um, you can zoom in and you can zoom out. You can go up here and um, you can draw. You can also ch change the opacity. There we go. You can also go and change the color. You can also undo completely and then a redo. You can zoom in, zoom out. Um, you can go up here and you can a live collaboration. You can go up to your library. Um, you do need to save this file on your computer and then you'll be able to open it uh, fr from there as well. Um, you'll be able to open it from here. So uh, when you save it to your computer, you can open it uh, by clicking the file on your computer. Um, you can completely reset the canvas again. Th there's other options like arrows. So that's a little bit about uh, XLA Draw C UI. So I just went over step by step on getting XLA Draw running on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS, the third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.